What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture and in today's video we're going to be looking at how to create a paper rip or paper tear transition in Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's have a look. The transition I'm using in this video is from Creative Vault. They have some free transition packs and the link is in the description below. I'm not promoting their website, I'm just stating where I got the free to use content from. So start a new project and download all your files. Okay, now when you have all your um, files in here, I'm just going to drag one of my videos here to make the sequence. Okay, and then I'm going to drag my second video, which is here. Okay, so that's my two videos. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to download, sorry, drag the diagonal tier uh, mat onto here. So just align it with the, the end of the, the first uh, clip here. So it finishes exactly at the same time where the clip finishes. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to just push it up a bit uh, slightly and drag the second video just underneath it so that it basically covers the same space as the uh, the mat. So once this is underneath the, the mat, what we need to do is press C to get the razor tool and cut it exactly at the, at, at the place where the mat ends. Okay, just here. So this way, we're going to bring some uh, effects to it, but the effect we only wanted just underneath the, the mat, not the whole clip, actually. Okay, so click back on V to make it to the selection tool and go to the effects and search for track mat key. Okay, drag this onto the, the clip that we have uh, cut out. Okay, there's one more thing we also need to add is bring the diagonal tier HD, which is the actual paper effect, and it has automatically added our uh, another track for it for us. So now what we want to do is freeze the frame. When the effect starts, we want to freeze this frame actually. Okay, so the video um, in the background actually freezes and also the video in the um, in the new clip, it's also frozen until the effect is completely finished, until we totally rip the uh, paper off. So for that, what we do, go back one frame, cut it out here and go here, one frame, cut it out here, remove this one, and right click on this uh, clip, select add frame hold and go back to the clip and go to frame hold options and go in because now this is going into the transition, we have to uh, select in point and then click OK. Do exactly the same at the end, but on the second video on the second clip and go one frame to the left with the razor tool, cut the clip delete the rest of it we do exactly the same hold add frame hold and then go to the frame hold options but this way this time because it's going out the frame the the effect is actually about to finish we are going to select out point okay now once you've done that drag this clip all the way up here and drag the first clip all the way up there now the last thing we need to do is click on the second clip that we have cut out here and go to the effect controls and in the effect controls go to mat and click on the video layer which where the the mat is actually on uh, so in our case it's on video layer 3 the diagonal tier, uh, tier 2 mat that's on video 3 layer 3 so we select video 3 okay now as soon as you selected it bingo this is it okay and that's how it's playing what you can also do is just add a audio to it as well if you want okay so this is a very nice transition. You can also do it easily and it doesn't take long anyway. It's, it's totally up to you. You can have as many transitions as you want. I think this is absolutely fine. Um, it looks really good. Uh, the transition is fine. Uh, you can also add a zoom in or zoom out effect if you want. I was lost 
Okay, so I hope you liked the video. Um, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.